there? Right outside the door, I'm getting 500 microsieverts an hour just outside the door. 1,500 microsieverts an hour. You know, if we stayed here for a couple hours, we'd receive our annual dose of background radiation. That basement was the most radioactive place I visited, and it's one of the most radioactive places on Earth. If I'd stayed down there for one hour, I would have received 2,000 microsieverts. That's a year's worth of natural background radiation. Every yellow pixel here represents a banana. Now that might seem like a lot, but consider that in a CT scan, the patient receives about 7,000 microsieverts. That's three years worth of natural background radiation. It's been estimated that the people living around Fukushima will receive an additional 10,000 microsieverts over their lifetime due to the nuclear power disaster. For comparison, U.S. radiation workers are limited to a maximum of 50,000 microsieverts per year. But that's less than another occupation, astronaut. An astronaut on the space station for six months will receive about 80,000 microsieverts worth of radiation but not even they are exposed to the highest levels of ionizing radiation. So can you guess who is? The answer is a smoker's lungs. A smoker's lungs on average receive 160,000 microsieverts worth of radiation every year. That's due to the radioactive polonium and radioactive lead in the tobacco that they're smoking. So not only are they exposed to carcinogens and toxins, they also receive very high levels of radiation. So it's not the people of Fukushima or Chernobyl or radiation workers or even astronauts who receive the highest doses of ionizing radiation. That honor goes to your ordinary average smoker.